The Finnish government officially announced their intention to join NATO on Sunday, finally ditching decades of wartime neutrality and ignoring Russian threats of possible retaliation. The decision was announced at a joint press conference by the Finnish president and the prime minister. I would like to point out uh, the function of Finnish democracy here. Ordinary people with their opinions, political parties, government, parliament, they have shown how strong Finnish democracy is. As a result of that, we have today a historic day. Finland will maximize its uh, security, and that is not a way from anybody. We have reached today an important decision in good cooperation between the government and the President of the Republic. We hope that the Parliament will confirm the decision to apply for NATO membership during the coming days. It will be based on a strong mandate. With the President of the Republic, we have been in close contact with governments of NATO member states and NATO itself. I wish to thank the support we have received so far. In Finland, we still have the parliamentary process ahead of us, but I trust that the Parliament will debate this historic decision with determination and responsibility. Less than three months after Russia's February 24th invasion of Ukraine, the move comes as a stunning reversal of Finland's policy on military non-alignment dating back more than 75 years. In the capital of Finland, Helsinki, before the decision was put before the parliament for approval, the Finnish president, Sauli Minista, called the move historic, adding that it was the opening of a new era. The announcement came at a time when Russia has already pulled the plug on electricity supplies to Finland, with whom it shares a 1,300-kilometer border. Finland's decision comes despite a warning from Russia. The Kremlin, in a statement, had earlier said Putin has conveyed his stance to Finnish president regarding the membership bid. Russian president, in a stern warning, has said that giving up military neutrality to join NATO will be a mistake on Finland's part, adding that the move can severely strain the ties between the both countries. The historic move means now the US-led military alliance could aid Finland in time of need. But again, it could take months to finalize as legislators of all 30 current members must approve new applicants. Sweden, which has been militarily non-aligned for more than two centuries, is also seen following suit with a similar announcement expected on Monday. The NATO foreign ministers held second day of talks in Berlin. The talks were focused on the two Nordic countries' membership bids. The alliance welcomed Finland's decision to seek membership. German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock say that the that she expects a strengthened NATO following the application of Sweden and Finland to join the alliance. We were very pleased to be joined by our friends Finland and Sweden. If they do apply to join NATO, the UK is strongly supportive of that. We're also working closely with the Ukrainians and the Poles and others to make sure that Ukraine has NATO standard defence. It's also important today that we focus on a global NATO, because as well as protecting Euro-Atlantic security, we also need to watch out for Indo-Pacific security too. On Saturday, Turkey's foreign ministers raised objections to the Nordic nation's membership bid, saying that it was unacceptable and outrageous. I won't give any uh, kind of timetable uh, when we will risk uh, high threats. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.